Hello everybody and welcome to another grumpy let's play. It's been a little while since I've done a let's play, mainly because no one watches them. But anyway, we're playing The Complex today. It is a FMV game and I didn't even know it was coming out. I had no clue about this game, never heard of it until I saw it yesterday on Steam that it was coming out today and I thought, oh hey, a game with Mila Kunis in it. And then it turns out it wasn't Mila Kunis, it's an actress called Michelle Milet. But either way, it looks really interesting. It is a game all about a bioweapon that is released and causes some horrible stuff to happen, I guess. And it is described as an interactive movie. I would argue that it is a low interaction game. I guess we could argue all day about it, or we could just play it. So I have started the game just to get it all working and running. I've, I've played like the first minute. So just pretend that I have no clue what's going on for the first minute. I'm sure we can all, we can all pretend. Again, a film, a film or a game. I think it's a game. I think I'm a little bit biased maybe, but I'm saying it's a game, so. And I'm more important. Kindar, Southeast Asia. Wait, why is there gunfire? Who's, I never noticed that the first time. What, are we in a war? I guess we're in a war. So I've done a full body cleanses on both of them. Space is sterile. This is definitely not me, Lacunas. Research project. Mm -hmm. Nice work, Doctor Wakefield. So oh, he's a bit drop. cringe. He's a little bit cringe. Yeah. I mean, he is British, so. Block. A woman was coming home from the shops. Boy was playing with a soccer ball. I don't think what Americans said the football. shops. I thought Americans say like the store. I'm going to the store. Do you want any, like, candy from the store? Hi. I'm Amy. You're... Hello. Pleasure to meet you, Dahlo. Oh, this is very relevant at this moment in time. This game seems to have... Are you going to hurt me? ...released at the right time. Okay, so we have choices. We can choose lighthearted or serious. I'm going to go lighthearted. I'm Team Doctor. You got injured, but I'll have you back playing football very soon. Hey, okay. British humor. Please, I'm pretty sure they're all zombies. I've not. Again, yeah, I don't I know. Chance to restart the vials. But I feel like they're all zombies. Supply tent now. I don't know if this is a zombie game or not. I'm not sure, but it looks it's like okay. a zombie game. Oh, it's okay. I Calling it now, zombies. Like everyone I treated in Syria. Okay. Yeah, but he's a zombie. She's a zombie, he's a zombie, everyone's a zombie. You're all right, you're all right. What's your name? Nama. We're not safe here. The Supreme Leader ordered this. No. We're here to help. Supreme Leader Snoke? To kill us. Both of us are stand against him. Typical Snoke. Oh. Tell me. Will this come Ruin my life. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, okay, let's be positive or realistic. Uh, let's be positive. Just don't sue me later, please. We're treating you early, so you've got a great chance of survival. I listen to liars every day. You are not a good one. Then why ask me? If you knew, if you're such an expert, why did you ask me? Why'd you put me on the spot? This is hard for me too, okay? This is hard for me as well. I need, I need to save my baby. <gasps> Shit, she's pregnant. She's a pregnant zombie. So, from what I know of, of Blade, the baby will become a zombie, but a super zombie, and can go out in the daylight. That's how it works. The supply has been depleted. No, there's only there's enough only for one of them. Left. I knew it, I knew it. Who do I choose? I've got to choose the pregnant woman. 100% I've got to choose the pregnant woman. <laughs> That's not even a choice. What are you gonna do? That's not even a choice. I have to choose the pregnant Make woman. A decision. That's not even. That's not. E that's not even a choice. Dima, give me your arm. <laughs> Dima, please. Really? You have really? to trust me. Okay, this will save you and your baby. Trust me, I'm wearing you orange. <gasps> You want to kill my baby? No! No! No, already we got screwed! What a bitch! How do I say No you? way! Reese? All 
right, I'm, I'm, I'm invested. I'm not gonna lie, I'm invested in this game already. This is like Telltale, but with better graphics. I mean, obviously, obviously the graphics are better because you know, they're, they're real, but this is great. The game is already making me feel like a complete failure. What more could I ask for? Of history. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, and I'm here on behalf of the visionary Natalie Kensington to Wait, inform you how is your different? investments have made that possible. Is this us again? Firstly, we've been using your billions for the greater good. The greater good. The Kensington Corporation's relationship with Kindar has flourished since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects with some of the country's top scientists. Natalie has even developed an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. Wait, are they the token Kindarians? Oh, yeah, they've got them serving things. Kindar Brilliant. Kindar still a totalitarian state. Human rights violations and all that shit. Okay, we're going to engage with them or we're going to dismiss him? I'm going to dismiss him. Kindar is at peace. Moving on. The Kensington Corporation Sassy. is dedicated to bringing hope and new technology to it's a place. It's bad PR for us to associate with Kensington if she's dealing with a dictator. We're all here to discuss the amazing... Answer my fucking question. Right, rude. Why Jeez. has Natalie sent a nurse to tell us anything anyhow? Actually, I'm a doctor. Yeah, don't assume. She worked hard for that doctorate. You know who I am, right? Probably. May I ask you to leave the boardroom, please, sir? Ho, ho, ho. Okay. I'm pulling my funding. Yeah, we don't need your funding anyway. Get out of here. It's always a bit of a risk serving free champagne. Ooh, she's savage. I like her. I like her a lot. Uh-oh. More zombies. Yeah, kid, don't stare. God. Um. Now, the real reason you're here. The Kensington Complex. That's uh, my house, actually. Our impenetrable um. HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Never Natalie's call something impenetrable. by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. As soon as you call it impenetrable, it's going to get penetrated. Just lab alpha, ask my ex. A womb of scientific advancement. Wait. There, we have something remarkable in development. Wait. I'm sure I can't make that joke of on YouTube. I told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. Yo, we're going to make it a colony. The new British colony on Mars. Which is basically the plot of Expanse if you think about it. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Clearly not. Clearly not, Sandra. Yeah, rough night. Don't do drugs, Kay. I hate those little things on the back of phones. They're a so stupid. On a ten-ton Mars lander, how do we get around this? Nanocells, stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Very, very, very small Once cells. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra yep, blood to help zombies. catalyze the healing process. 100% zombies. Tiny magic bullets. What's your problem? Of course, everyone's first instinct now in 2020, just get your phone out. This is, of course, just a mock-up. The real nanocells are still in development and securely back at the complex. But once they're ready, we can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that nanocells could be miracle tech. <gasps> Bleeding from the eyes. That's like zombie 101. Yes, miss. The the zombie escaped. The the zombie. Did urgently. Hang on. I have some serious concerns about this. Likewise. Before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, I really can't wait. Um. I need to get you to the car now. 
We gotta go. The zombies. It's an emergency. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go, Emily. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? It's already gone viral. Look at that like and dislike ratio. I'm ruling out food poisoning. She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. Okay, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Uh-oh. Told you. Zombies. I'm going to be so disappointed if it isn't zombies. This is beyond our remit. Is it? You're a guy in a white suit. What is possibly beyond your remit? Excellent quarantine work. Wait, they had a tube? They had a tube ready for her. Who has people tubes? Who has a tube for a person? But it's more dangerous. If it crashes, then whatever's inside her, it gets out into the public. It won't crash. It's Kensington Tech. Use the drone, Amy. Oh, God. The drone is definitely going to crash. Drone. Don't fuck it up. They're going to fuck it up. They're going to crash the drone. So, what else do we know about her? Nothing yet. Let's get back to the complex. A, a drone for people. I mean, I guess it's more efficient than an air ambulance, but... This is like really impressive camera work for an FMV game. Like I love an FMV game, but a lot of them, they're just very cheesy and very like, aha, it's a game. This, this really is like, Bodies of our renegade. half What's movie, half game. In a strange country? Also, she's in Game of Thrones. For that. Today we need all your field experience, Amy. Time to roll back the ears. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. You've gotta be kidding me. Nah. Been a while, Dr. Whitfield. He's a douche and I don't like him. Fast. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line. Reese Wakefield? No, I don't like him. Hug? Let's walk and talk. I definitely don't like him. Suspicious. So, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumor? I need to take this. Was it her? So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahech is one of us. Inside job. Now, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the tube? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Look, have we considered the hysteria might actually be valid? What, terrorism? I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> look, I'm guessing they have history. Or bungee jumping, or whatever it is that you were up to. Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, saw something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologizing for the skydiving. Guy's gotta live. All right, I take it back. I take it back. I I'm warming to him. And if you could come back and let me know your decisions. Okay, thank you. You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence too. Come on. Hey, uh, guys, can I just, uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the gents. Uh, right, he's more interesting. Can we go, please? I'm gonna follow him. Now, I'm gonna use the toilet as well. There are toilets down there. Amy! Oh, I don't believe this. I wanna know more about his theory. I 
I mean... <laughs> Gender fluid toilets. New policy. Hey! That was funny. That was funny. I will give the game that. That was funny. What's he doing? Oh, I thought it was going to be like doing something secretive, not just hiding in the in the loo. But there we go. From your assistant staying in security lab, Alpha. You should see the other guy. Security lab, Alpha. Nat, is this my tech? Yes. Uh oh. But how? I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nanocells, otherwise our life's work's gone. All of the nanocells are inside of her? It, it was the master batch. No duplicates were made. Why would you not make any duplicates? Good luck. That seems silly. I'm not like a nanotechnology expert or anything, but surely you would make more than one. Woo! Oh my god, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits? You'll see. All right. Uh, I, I, I mean... Ah. Oh. No way. I think I missed that choice. I think I missed it. Better change in facilities than in the Congo, eh? Yeah. And Kinder. Wait, was that him from the beginning? Is this both of these two? <laughs> Just don't. Just don't. I feel like I probably should have picked the cubicle for YouTube. <gasps> K-Corp. We're going into space. Kellogg's. Kellogg's Corporation. Vacuum conditions active. Something like that. Echo! This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical... ...barriers. How long have you worked here again? We'll tell him. Four years last Wednesday. Yeah, it's been that long. Just thinking about some of the stuff we saw. I saw a whole other year's worth after you left. It wasn't just skydiving. I needed a reset. Try new things. Learn He's obviously got anxiety from what happened in Kinder. Oh, no. That's why he was hiding in the toilet. It all makes sense now. So the meditation's new. So is the spying. Hey, he knew so, that. Vacuum conditions inactive. He's gonna end up a zombie partway through this game, and we're gonna have to kill him. Calling it now. Sorry, spoilers. Probably, probably spoilers. Uh, that's a coat hanger. <laughs> that, that was a co-hanger. Everly North, 
This is Dr. Reese Wakefield. He'll be assisting. Oh, okay, we're supposed to be a girl. <laughs> I thought it was Let supposed to be some sort of space age tech. It was just actually a coat hanger. Feels like we're at the center of those dolls that go inside each other. Matryoshka dolls. Yeah, Russian, aren't they? So what's your story then, Malkin? I wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the Plains Summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice in stem cells. Oh, those things, yeah, sure. Me too. Holy shit, it's attacking the bone structure. We've never seen anything like it. I have a sample of her blood under the microscope. I'm not an expert in blood, so I don't I don't know if that's normal. Guys, this is my tech. The nanocells are inside her. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. But someone's put them in her. <laughs> No, 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 leave it in, Claire. You need it. Oh, feels fucking weird. <sighs> you a terrorist? <laughs> be a terrible one if I was. I did this for Nina. I'm sorry for being very entertaining and engaging. This is, stop this is too Look, fun. Anytime like, I'm... Seen a lone wolf release pathogens into the air. Nanocells aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood-to-blood -blood contact. Like bites. Answer call. Named as Claire Mahek, a Kandarian intern at Kensington. TV off. We all know that doesn't work like that. You say TV off and series Tell like, me, can you did you say play Spotify? We'd need to extract a large blood sample to keep them active. From there, I'll use that as a roadmap to recreate the master batch. Seems simple enough. She has plenty of blood to spare. Not exactly. Her new bone matter is consuming her body's resources at an accelerated rate. If I remove that much blood in one go, she'll die. And if she dies before you extract her blood? Without a living host, the nanocells will just dissipate. Au revoir, nanocells. So either way, she dies. OK. Amy, we're going to have to go for the option where we retain her asset. Natalie, I can't just... I'll get back to you. Encore. God damn corporations. What should we do, Doctor? Set up for a full blood diagnostic. There has to be a way to get the nanocells out of her safely. Dr. Wakefield, please replace her IV. I can't risk any outside contamination. Sure thing. Dr. Tennant. Wait. I talk to who reference. I've just realized. Need to replace this, okay? Don't bite me. See, she's a zombie. Even he knows. Whoa. <laughs> Shit, sorry. Oh. What rusty. You cheeky little shit. Stealing a sample of her blood. Who do you work for? Who delivered this crate? Oh, it's here. We arrived this morning. Well, it's in the way. It needs to be moved. Uh, I'm going to make Reese do it. A little troublemaker. Dr. Wakefield, can you move this crate, please? Fucking assistant. Yeah, I'm working, man. You do us a favor. I've still got to deal with this. I'm in the middle of this. Cheers, fella.
Dr. North. Dr. North. Is it really oh, sorry, that heavy? My shoulder's playing up. Do you mind? <gasps> he knew. He knew. That's why he didn't move it. It's not personal. No way. This is intense. Oh no, everyone's biting everyone. That's not good even Wait. without zombies. I'm good. I'm good. Check on Dr. North. Uh. It's just a stab wound. She's been infected. Dr. North. I can have the toast. Stop some of We're going to save you, okay? She's got scabies. I knew there was something off about Malkin. What kind of a scientist has a fucking ponytail? It's a fair point. <sighs> mm -hmm. oh, thank you. You're fine. Oh, oh, oh. Is Claire all right? I'm currently the safest person in this room. Good enough for me. Why are we in lockdown mode? It's detecting the poison from the acid bomb. It won't be in the air for much longer. Thanks for that. Call Natalie Kensington. <phone rings> Emily, where's Natalie? There's been an incident in the lab. Yeah, I can see that, and the biosecurity's kicked in. I need Natalie on the line right now. I don't care who she's with. Yeah, okay, she's in her office. I'll call you right back. And call. <phone rings> First things first, let's get this cleaned up. Okay, so, ready? Mm -hmm. one doctor's down. One has some weird disease. Minute, He's been away. stabbed. Our zombie survival chances aren't looking great here. Fuck. No first aid kit. Well, that needs to come out one way or another. Kensington could have at least left us some of our expensive whiskey. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna slap him. Oh, this is gonna stink. Ah! What the fuck? Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Cold. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but funny. <laughs> so. I have to clean this wound. No, 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 it'll be fine. We've got bigger fish to fry. <sighs> no, the nano cells are going to get in there. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? Um, yeah, we need disinfectant. Wait here, I'm gonna go see if there's something in the intensive lab. No, Amy, it's fine. Look, we need to figure out what the fuck is going on. I'm scared. The nano cells are gonna get in there. Thought you'd gone quiet over here. Your nano cells don't like my chat either. Well, I did mold them in my image. That makes sense. Bunch of mini controlling bitches inside me. You reap what you sow. 
Your actions are the ones that got us into this mess, and all you've done is mock us. Fuck off. You have no idea. Tell me then. All right. I'll get round to you when I can. Just like Yemen. <laughs> He's definitely infected with the nano cells. He's dead. Plumbing? No. That came from the void. Well, there can't be anything in the void, otherwise, it's not a void, is it? Jump scare ink. What the hell is that? It must be coming from beyond the walls. Is there any security cameras we can check? On the computer, but I don't know how my assistants did that. All right, would you mind? Thank you. <sighs> That would get so dirty. Right, got it. These are the security cameras in the world. Can we just point out how dirty that would get? You'd have some idiot that would have his drink on it. What? Shit on the array. The cavalry? In masks? With guns? What's the rumbling though? Sound doesn't travel in a vacuum. Shit, they've deactivated the vacuum. No prizes for guessing who the brains of this operation is. God bless our security walls, eh? Uh-oh. You spoke too soon, dickhead. Oh. This is impossible. They would need unprecedented access to our security systems to be doing this. It's obviously an inside job, isn't it? Darian too. I knew you were part of something bigger. Lump us all together because they have the same features. Big eyes and big lips too. She's got the point. divisions in my country are complex. Those bunch are not from my team. And now they're fucking with us. <laughs> Answer call. Amy, what's going on down there? You've been infiltrated, Kensington. Dr. Malkin was a plant. Thanks to him, Dr. North is dead, and so are my dreams of becoming a professional footballer. But you killed Malkin. Yeah, as you know that. Emily checked security footage from the lab. I mean, does privacy even exist around here? There are three mass intruders in the void, and they're armed. They deactivated the vacuum and bypassed the security wall. I'm still alive. Send in the Make swap. Make sure she knows that. Biosecurity is still enabled, so you are safe no matter what. Well, unless they open the door with that magic laptop. I'll get onto this intruder situation. Send oh, the well, not not fire grateful, brigade. But why is lockdown mode still active? The poison from the acid bomb has dissipated and the bioprotector is containing Claire's infection. It must be detecting something else. The safety of London is paramount. We can't risk a bug getting into the city. <laughs> Too late. Amy, you need to extract Claire's blood, especially if the intruders have come for her. The nanocells cannot fall into the wrong hands. Well, there's uh, an easy way to prevent that. We smoke Claire. No! End call. Wow. Still can't keep your cool under pressure. She's responsible for this. That makes no sense. We're her only hope at retrieving the nanocells. Yeah, she's going to let us extract the nanocells and then kill us by gunfire. Wow. Bleak much? All right, look, part I of mean... the planet designed this lab, right? Do you think he built an escape route, a back door, anything? I don't know. We'd have to ask him ourselves. Yoo-hoo! What now, Claire? Can you move the dead people? Glad that she mentions it. I mean, are they both definitely dead? <laughs> OK, 
Okay. How about this one? Enough with the Natalie theories. Remember those new skills I was telling you about? Well, advanced computing is one of them. Programming, coding. Hacking. I prefer the term unsolicited browsing. Yeah, no, sorry. Hacking is better. Look, I know you two are besties, but I find that a little bit... Yeah. Let's access her camera. Give it a little listen. Is this how scientists get killed? I like it. Let's do it. Where did you learn to do this? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. He learned it at the plot armor school of plot armor. Wait, we shouldn't... Look, if she's got nothing to hide, what's the issue? Yeah, screw it. Let's listen on her. We're in this together. This is a life and death situation. We need to cooperate if we're going to survive. Do it. Go ahead. The three intruders in the void have managed to lock every lift and door giving us access down there. Whatever they've done is called electrical blips throughout the entire building. There are questions. Have the security idiots announced an upgrade gone awry? No one can think this clear situation's any more serious than it already is. This seems planned, Natalie. There must be more traitors in our midst. Emily, please. Two people are trapped in that lab with our prized asset. They are our priority. Announce a security upgrade. I clear the eyeways in case she calls. Who could the traders be working for? Let's ask the original. I've not said anything for like five minutes. I can't help it. This game is so interesting. Claire. Amy. What do you and your friends want? I'm not an espionage mastermind. They aren't with me. So how did all the nanocells end up inside you? Is it not totally obvious? You should listen to Professor Xavier over there. About what? Kensington. So she put them in you? <laughs> no. <laughs> not me. <laughs> Don't die now, I need more information. <laughs> I can't let us up, but that's harsh. been at the complex a year we've always had passing conversations on higher floors but i don't think you remember i always wanted to work in this lab with you well here we are wait so she's a crazy fan there come on just tell me what's happening so that i can help you who, who got all of what? Who's Mina? Claire. She's about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Hey, hey, chocolate teapot, teapots are useful. You can eat them. Oh, shit. Ready for more cryptic bullshit? Answer call. Guys, you were right about the intruders. They've sabotaged the system and have electronically barricaded themselves in the void. Yeah. Tell us something we don't know, please. How are they bypassing your security system so easily? Kensington Corporation stock plummets amidst... Oh, not our stocks. Rescue plans are being made. Well, have you contacted Parker Kaplani? He designed the lab. He'll know how to get us out of here. We've been trying, but he could be anywhere on the planet right now. Parker has no compunctions about who he builds labs for, as long as he pays court. Excuse me. Emily, wait. Emily, wait. Please. Give us something. Help us. Dr. Malkin, the three intruders in the void, Claire, they all infiltrated the complex expertly. What, an another country in the space race, or...? Possibly. Well, they might be trying to steal the nanocells, or destroy them. 
I'm going to move heaven and earth to try and get hold of Parker. Thank you, Emily. And call. Emily did it. Why Emily's the mole. We need to come up with some ideas of our own. Is there anything else you can do in the computer system? I can hack the communication lines, get in touch with Parker Kaplan and myself. Okay, awesome. You do that. I'm going to look for a way out of here. <coughs> Are you okay? Shit. Two, two oh, meters away, yeah, dude. Two meters away. Down, yeah. No, that's impossible. Even in lockdown mode, there's always a steady supply of oxygen. They're going to suffocate you out. Lost something? Welcome back, Sleeping Beauty. I need something to get me past that vent cover. <laughs> Delicate or crude? No time like the present, eh? Do you need a hand? See, even with one leg, Whitefield is still the MVP. Most vanishing person? Oof. Sorry, that was harsh. No, 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 you've grown some wit. I'm proud. Come on then. So they must have had to, like, film this twice. So, well, be careful. One for each option. Like, I bet they had to film so much more than a regular movie. Let me choose which way to go. Reese, the vent continues behind the oxygen tank. Can you squeeze past it? Only one way to find out. All right, proceed with caution. We don't want to. We don't want to blow the oxygen. Oh, see? See? We would have been dead meat. This is like Resident Evil, the movie. Why would you have a la- Why would you have a laser grid in- a, a, Why? What is the purpose of the laser grid in the oxygen airway? Why? Okay. Okay, game. Made it. That's excellent news. I thought you were going to get stuck. I think there's something further on. Okay, but now you know there's laser grids. <sighs> Shit. Good job. Now we've got nano cells. Marching wounds. I mean, mine is, mine is slightly more impressive. Mine put both of yours to shame. I hate her. 
<laughs> this game is great. I don't give a shit what anyone else says. What's this deal? There's only one wall left between them and the lab door. Please tell me you got hold of Parker. Negative. Uh, I got hold of the CCTV footage from the past 24 hours. Okay. Sift through it, see if there's anything helpful. Roger that. You sneaky bastard. Fucking sneaky bastard. I swear to God, it's like, it's like the writer is me. <laughs> Wait. I Claire swear I have not played this before. I swear I have not played this before. This is my first playthrough. <laughs> I promise. Is that your master batch? How did she get that level of clearance on her ID card? Stole it. Wait, what were you? You injected yourself? Why didn't the lab shut down? The nanocells need time to diffuse in the bloodstream. I was able to get out of the complex before feeling the effects. What the fuck is she doing in the storeroom? I destroyed all the duplicate nanocells too. What? I didn't authorize any duplicates to be made. So you were just. I mean, if they're nano, could you break them by just stamping on them? I don't who, think. Who I don't think so. No, I was heading to MI6. To... Oh, fucking impeccable timing as always. MI6? Why were you taking them there, Claire? Obviously, Kensington is weaponizing them. Parker. We got a hold of Parker. Half true. I was already en route. I get alerted every time shit hits the fan in one of my labs. We also have the identities of the three intruders. Send them through. Oh, <gasps> we Jesus. saw them outside the toilet. They're from last year's batch of Kindarian interns. Sleepers, like Malkin. Yeah, 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 guys, guys, guys. There's one security wall between them and us. What have you got? What are our best options, Parker? Send in the police. I need 10 more minutes to study these blueprints. That lab was built to contain world-altering alchemy. So excuse me if back doors weren't part of my thinking. Amy. End call. Reese. What? Do you want to listen to a fucking bullshit about nanocells again? We've got 10 minutes to think without all that shit. Oh, what's she got now? Randy Pitchford's USB drive. <gasps> I didn't want to hand this over. It's not meant for you, but fuck it. You need to see the truth about Kensington and Kinder. What is it? Just watch. Careful, Amy. Always. 10 out of 10 dialogue right there. That would have been a cinema sins. That's all I'm saying. <gasps> Can we get cinema sins to do this game? Or like Nostalgia Critic or right. somebody who does movies? Oh! You son of a bitch. I gave you morphine. I gave you morphine, you horrible woman. files Kensington and Picnic which one do you want to watch I mean Picnic obviously <laughs> I swear to God if it's just pictures of a picnic <laughs> oh my god it actually is you've forgotten the wine but remembered your phone typical <sighs> Nina's mad at me these days <laughs> well I'm sorry I forgot the wine okay yeah Bro, onion bhajis mm. egg mayo <laughs> Tomatoes. Claire takes too many selfies in London. 
Not that much. No, look, I'm showing the surroundings. Look, look, look how pretty this grass is. Come on, let's, let's take a picture. Look at the camera. Smile. <laughs> oh, what was that? That's creepy. Um, I think my mind's concluding the same thing as yours. So, do you really play it? Want to watch that? Please. Skits over will be answering to the UN. Oh, she's crooked. Kensington Mall. What's the problem? We quashed uprising villages, and you got human trials to assess your technology. Two birds, one stone. But three whole villages. Your scientists need not know how the data was acquired. The Supreme Leader is a man Supreme Leader's of discretion. Note. We trust you are the same. Most certainly. Make sure of it, or we will. Have they got? Have they got dirt on her? Have they got like her family member hostage or something? Or is she like working with them? She didn't seem too happy about it. You see, the Kandarian government and Natalie Kensington experimented with your own nanocells on my people, my village, my parents, my sister Mina. They're all killed for opposing the dictatorship. Natalie was making duplicates of the master badge behind my back. My tech killed people. And you Most technology the does. My six. In that USB and in your veins. Now the supreme leader has activated a sleeper cell in the complex to cover his tracks. Yeah, not to mention Natalie's. Why didn't you tell us this before? I didn't trust you. And now you do after you just spat at me. Okay, I'm gonna reject it. Reject call. Amy, you need to take a minute and think about this, okay? I'm fine, I promise. Hey, look, I know a rush decision when I see one. Are you not gonna expose Natalie after what you've just seen? We need to deal with our current predicament. Plus, I. <laughs> wow. Would you believe this isn't the weirdest place I've taken a ship? Do you need me to stay and help you? Ye no, no, you're fine, you're spared. I'll be sitting outside. Thank you, okay. Hey, if we get out of here, will you quit like you said? Pass. I never thought I'd have to answer that question. Oh, you do the right thing. You always do. Is he actually I having I a ship? Well, I might have rubbed off on you if you'd stuck around. Why'd you leave, Reese? The absurdity. Not knowing whether saving someone was the right thing to do if it condemned them to a life of pain. It's deep, man. Too much for me. Coward isn't the man for you anyway. That wasn't your call to make. We were a team. Hindsight's a bitch, eh? I can't really take this romantic moment very Head seriously when he's having a shit. Where can I sign up for this war torn world tour you guys were on? Enough with the wise cracks, Claire. I'm not in the mood. I know how you 
feel the same way. You lost people that you love. My feelings are trivial compared to yours. The sense of betrayal, I mean. Come on, give us a break. I meant Natalie. It was a dream come true, getting an internship here. A village girl from Kindar, coming to London to work, to live, to love. Funny story. <laughs> On my first day here, I was super late because I thought there was a station in the complex. Turns out I was looking at the tourist tube map with disused and unfinished stations. Yeah, that's right, the um, half-built station under the complex. I'm Part sure that will be useful later. We're so far underground, we must be right on top. Yeah. Yeah, you might be right, Claire. Thank you. Anytime. What did I say? We can't go across the void. We tried going up into the vent, but we haven't tried going down. To Tabitha Greens. You need an access point. Or a drill. Reese is sitting on it. Oh no, we're gonna go. We're wearing white. What do you have to know? We're wearing white, and I we're gonna go through the toilet. We'll remove the entire toilet quickly. Uh, chemistry. Why not? You're gonna have to get your hands dirty. Not necessarily. So not only is she, you know, an expert in nanotechnology, she's also an expert yeah, okay, in Amy, totally chemistry way. too. Not for long. Potassium. Amy. My favorite ever chemistry lesson was when the teacher put a small piece of potassium in water. I always wanted to see what a full block would do. Never got to do that oh, in my chemistry lessons, that's all I'm insane. saying. <laughs> so now the big question, how far below us is Tabitha Greens? Looks deep. Drop a coin. I'll go check it out. Okay. Uh, drop, drop Amy? Wait, what? No. That was a long way down. They're going to shoot their way in. That would not Their work. bullets won't dent these doors. They were built to withstand much more than that. The Void's last resort defense mechanism is the kicker. When it detects a rogue pathogen, it generates a white heat flash to eliminate the threat. <coughs> She's already hardwired into the system. We are fucking fucked. Answer, Answer call. call. Guys, the intruders are almost in, and we know why they're here. Parker, what options have we got? Enough! While Parker was accessing the lab security mainframe for bypasses, we saw records of who gained entry in the last 24 hours. Claire entered using someone else's ID credentials. Yours, Amy. That's impossible. I've got my ID card right here. Amy didn't help me. I snuck into her office and I copied her credentials off a computer. You're the liar, Natalie. You don't have a voice here, Claire. But we know about Kim. I feel like Please. she does. We have proof. Lots. 
nonsense. Look, the intruders are Natalie and Kindar's way of making sure that we die with their dirty little secret. We know that you hack your own security, Natalie. That's ridiculous. Yeah, your cyber security sucks. Even Reese hacked it easily. Reese has been hacking the system. He isn't an employee here, is he? What's your story, buddy? He spent the last few years bouncing between pharma companies around the world. A mercenary. Whose side are you on, Wakefield? We've got to refocus. No, this. Everyone, calm down. All I know is that if they get in, the nanocells are gone forever. Natalie, please. Look, we aren't traitors. Help us. Stall them, do something. Amelia, regardless of what we think of each other right now, you're one of my closest friends. Parker. So we're trusting these guys now? Yes, we are. Can the void jam Yeah, Parker. Mix? Negative. Could you reinitialize the vacuum? Two of them aren't wearing helmets. I can't. They've locked us out. Reese could. His computer down there is hardwired into the system. All right. Okay, tell me through it as fast as you can. <laughs> Help, baby! Help! Help! We've got to keep Claire alive. She's got the nano cells. What's going on, Claire? Something wrong. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> You're going to wear a mask. No. I trust you. Yeah, don't spit on me again. I feel like they deserve it. We're not out of the woods yet. All right, they're still unlocking the door. One down, two to go. <laughs> Those gun effects, though. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Come on. Okay, you bastards. She's shooting her, she's got a helmet. Oh, he shot for a helmet. Wow. I say her, I assumed it was her. Kensington. We're okay. Answer call. Oh, thank God. We saw the lab door didn't open. Good work, Wakefield. Appreciate the guidance, Parker. Thanks for the lead, Natalie. There's still an armed intruder out there. Parker, what else do you have for us? I could go for Natty's internet, unplug the lab, plug it back in. That would kill lockdown mode and the vacuum for 60 seconds. You guys can then escape before everything initializes. 
Emily has a security team poised to handle the last intruder. Well, that's a shit plan. He's standing right outside the door. Fucking security team of sprinters wouldn't make it down before he wastes us. He's right, Parker. It's a calculated risk worth taking. OK, well, when could you do this? Whenever you're Can you get clear as blood? What the fuck, Natalie? Yes, I know it will kill her, but she's going to die anyway. Hush. She'd be sacrificing herself to save millions. Or to kill more. Think, Amy. We can't start over again. This has been our lives for the past four years. We're not the only country trying for nano cells. I'm not a murderer. You're a monster, Kensington. Just take the blood, Amy. Time is running out. Deal or no deal? No deal, no. No deal, no. End call. We're trapped in a corner here, Emmy. There has to be another way that doesn't involve killing Claire. There isn't. We're trapped. Yeah, by Natalie. The lab's in lockdown mode because she ordered it. There's no other chemical threat outside of Claire's bioprotector. Yeah, there is. Actually. Yeah, him. Uh-oh. I told you, you got in his blood. I told you. I should have brushed up on my needle handling. Look, this is a Mexican standoff we're going to lose. I cut my finger. I probably got it too. I'm like Claire and eventually the oxygen will run out. So Parker's crazy plan of opening that door is our only hope. <laughs> You've changed your tune. Maybe Natalie will rescue us. Yeah, you want to bet? All the evidence of her actions in Kindar is down here. The nanocells are our only leverage. Take her blood, however much you need. Could take your blood. Didn't think about that, did you? Claire, give me your arm, please. Oh, uh, she got pink eye. I thought you were different. Claire, your arm. Tell me honestly. You save me. I don't know. I don't know. There's almost no chance of it. Your internal physiology is completely changed and I can't predict what's gonna happen. You're weak. Look, I don't even know if I'm gonna survive this. But if I do, I promise. I do apologize if you Stop. hate needles. I've got enough. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't stick it in. <laughs> That's what she said. Reese. <laughs> Just close the bioprotector. Claire can live to fight another day. It's about time I contributed an escape plan. What? While Parker was talking me through the vacuum reset, I realised that a full lab reset wouldn't be much different. We don't need those pricks upstairs. But if you reset the lab, they'll be alerted. That's where things get creative. I hacked into the lab security camera and recorded the last three minutes of you preparing to extract Claire's blood. I can output that three minutes of footage onto their security feed. While you escape, they'll think you're following orders. How did you come up with this? Sorry to move it. <laughs> okay, but what about our last remaining obstacle outside? And why are you speaking in the second person? Plus, we're probably you, infected too. I'm infected. As soon as I step into the void, that heat flash will trigger. Maurice, you've lost it. If I die in here, lockdown mode ends and he gets in. If I die out there, so does he and you you have a chance. I've been the weak link. It's time to become an asset. I mean... Just take Claire, run, and save her. All right, then. <laughs> okay, sure.
Come on, Larry. No, 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 look, I chose this, okay? That's how you make a life. Every single choice along the way counts. I fucking hate you. This is better than half the sci-fi movies out there today. You know, I went back to that beach in Kindar to face it. Tavo and Dima. And I think maybe if I hadn't lost my shit, then we could have saved one of them. I really want to, like, try that choice again and see the difference. I'm sorry for leaving you. Don't kiss him. Don't kiss him. He's infected. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'll never forgive myself for what's happened to you. Uh, I'll, I'll live. <coughs> That's a wise move. I wouldn't touch me either. I mean, Claire lasted way longer than he did. Like... Wait! What is it, Claire? Switch places with me, Reese. At this stage, you have a far better chance of surviving than I do. Come on. She has you have all of the evidence against Kensington. Make sure the world sees it. No, Claire, I'll do it. Drop it. The bioprotector will stop the lab detecting your infection. And you two can escape. Oh, come on. I mean, no. Oh. Okay, Claire's, Claire's definitely dead. I promise we'll expose At least Natalie, she'll die, like. And we'll share your story with the world. Getting this story out, right? Thank you. I can't read the fuck out of this thing. <sighs> Oh, definitely still could be zombies. I've definitely heard those noises before. They're in a video game. Did you do that, Parker? No. I'm sitting here. Yeah, chatting her up. Hey, Claire. Thank you. Let's do this. Close the door, maybe? Chemical threat detected. <laughs> Heat flash initiated. Close the door, maybe? Looks good to me. Yeah. She's going to get the nano cells. Well done, Amy. I wouldn't have. What was that? Nothing. Ooh, she evil. Three minutes. Oh no, the crisps. But the gun is totally fine. That. Get a machine gun! So, no, don't. They're so hard to control. But, like, 
It completely burnt them bones and all to a crisp, but the mm -hmm. guns are totally fine. Mm -hmm. We have to change out of our lab suits. Mm -hmm. That's too much attention. How about is it? That's a sin. Can you see the bone? It's healed, mate. I'm gonna go to the disabled toilet and grab the fold-up wheelchair, okay? Change quick. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we look totally inconspicuous. No one will suspect a thing. Almost look like a right side. <laughs> uh oh. Wait. I really wasn't bluffing about the security team. There's an exit out of the back of the building. It'll be way less guarded. Right, so what we're we waiting for? Natalie's office is down there. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's. I thought it was going to be a choice then. That would have been a hard choice to make. Do we go confront Natalie or do we escape? Let's finish what Claire started. Oh, my six, here we come. Stop right there, Amy Tennant. Uh oh. Oh. Well, I guess three minutes wasn't long enough. We know Wakefield has nanocells in his system. Hand them over and this can end without bloodshed. Well, that's clearly bullshit. Just do it, Amy. Uh, reason. Natalie's covering up the murder of innocent men, women, and children. Emily, you know this is wrong. I knew about everything. The nano I called it! Me, Kinder. I, I told you! I told you! Fiddling with your test tubes. Now hand him over. You're trapped. Amy, use me. You always said I could sell eyes to the Eskimos. Dude, you can't say that. <sighs> yeah, let's use him. I don't know what it means by use him. Hey, think this through. Emily, come on, you're taking orders to kill people from a speaker. In the ceiling. And you're smart, attractive, sassy. I've got a boyfriend, mate. <laughs> good, good effort. Good effort. Good job, Reese. Good job. You've only got one option left. I mean, I've got two options. What if I shoot him right now? I guess I've got three. Then the nano cells are gone forever. Steady. We need Reese alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reese wants to um, stay alive too. Amy? This is a mistake, Amy. You're bluffing, right? Oh, come on, Amy. You're not really going to do this over a few Kandarians. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the greater good. I'm so sorry, Reese. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't think we're actually going to shoot him. Oh, yeah. oh. The Grey are good. <laughs> I didn't think we were actually gonna shoot him. No. No way. No, this is the end. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> I mean. Okay, 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 right. That was amazing. That genuinely was amazing. I'm sorry if I wasn't talking very much during that whole thing. It was like being in a movie. It was like being in a movie, but not getting paid for it. But that was so good. And there's eight endings. I want to play it again. I want to play it again and choose differently. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to upload this entire video, this entire playthrough as one video. It's like an hour and 20. So I'm going to upload the whole thing. Let me know if you enjoyed it down in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see a different playthrough with different choices. And let me know what you think, because I thought that was amazing. Like, I have... 
I have not played a game like this before. I played Telltale games, but they're one thing. This was like, because it was FMV, it was like being in a movie, man. I don't know what to say. I'm blown away. That was that was really good. I am very impressed. I still think it's an interactive game, like a low interaction game rather than a, a an interactive movie, but it's it's definitely still a game. But holy crap! I want to play it again. Is it weird that I want to play it again so quickly? Did I get the bad ending? <laughs> I think I got the bad ending. Well, I got the greater good ending. I'm going to go and I'm going to go now and contemplate my life choices. Thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know if you want to see another playthrough with different choices. Let me know. But otherwise, go buy this game. It's on Steam. It's like £8. It's super cheap. Go buy it. 100% worth it. I'll see you next time. Is there going to be like a post credit scene? Oh wait, no. I didn't end the video. I, I didn't end it. We have choices and shit. Uh, ending found stalemate. So the ending was stalemate. Uh, personality says I'm extrovert. Hey, obviously. So we had 58% honesty, 70% bravery, 100% curiosity, 73% intelligence, and 61% sensitivity. We've done, wait, there's nine endings. See the game, the game on the Steam said eight endings. That's interesting. Uh, we've discovered 83 out of 196 scenes. But if there's, I guess, a lot of those endings will just be minor variations then, because we've discovered nearly nearly like half the scenes already um i mean these are all the people that died what's the percentage what what's the percentage is that how many people are relationship status okay so we're only 44 percent with reese how are we 77 percent with i forget his name talo talo was he called talo how are we 77 percent with him i don't understand that we had like a 79 percent relationship status with her this was, this was great. I, I almost wish we could see other people's choices, but you know, like how Telltale did it, but you know, never mind. But yeah. All right. Ending one, stalemate. On to the next one.